Good morning, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls from all over the world. We continue on with the rat lines. Just lovely. We got some sections done since our last video and we're working on the main mast starboard side top section tying rat lines and the, after that all we'll have left is rat lines is the mizzen mast on the starboard side we got the port side done so just another <clears throat> 50 or 100 more out of a total of 848 knots. And today we have our Grease self incarnated himself. Oh, I forgot to put my mask on. Darn it. Yeah, this is the mask I use in my emoji on my channel. Y'all recognize me by that uh, gorilla mask with a con virus mask over <laughs> and some glasses on. But the uh, channel was started more than two years ago, three years ago almost. And there was no con virus back then. But it was a, a Halloween event at work and we worked. At the time, we worked in a um, battery manufacturing facility in a dry room, and everybody had to wear masks and gloves and dry suits, working with lithium. And uh, and one of my buddies take a picture of me. We were in there working, and if you look real close at my emoji on the channel, you can see there's a guy in the background behind me in the photograph it was one of my friends that just recently passed away from the COVID virus so me myself and I are here today to try to finish these stinking rat lines one after another the knots go on and on. So if you haven't watched the latest, I think it's uh, HMS Bounty Build Part 36, where we started on these rat lines and just tying away, fighting all the different problems. If you haven't watched that, I'll tie a few for you today. That first knot was a double granny. Let me get you up here closer so you can see better. And we try to get that this height on the line on the notebook paper. <clears throat> a little too close to bumping the camera. So the Clovitz knot, which is the majority of the knots you'll tie for these, we went around and came back out over the top. So I had a little interruption there, had to. So back to where we were, come around the front, come over the back out being on the top and now we'll go around from the front come back around and come out on the bottom but this time pull through the last loop you had and then you adjust your knot for distance and height before you snug it around the back Front top, 
around the back, front, bottom. Pull it tight. Last one on this rat line step. Ta da! And all we do is cut those after we super glue the tips. And making sure they're the right height as we go up. This scale is 148, so we're uh, using that for the notebook paper lines as a, a guide. And it works out pretty good for this scale. Alright, we got her all tied up. I gotta put a clamp on here. This camera's moving all over the place. And I think I blew up that knot. I already got super glue on those, so hopefully it'll. Okay. Not too shabby. Use that on the last one. I got these sticks stuck in the crow's nest down here to help keep that paper up against the back of the crowds. Look at that pile of scrap just from doing right lines. Dr. Roger Ramjet man thinks it was ridiculous. side of the mizzen mast left to do and we're creeping upwards see that double granny knot first and get it really tight on the line and then the clove hitch around over the top back around under the bottom and through the loop you can see as I pull tight there I'm able to regulate the tension in between the two shrouds, which is sort of critical because you don't want no sagging rat line step.
And the closer the shrouds get, the more to the left you got to close that knot. And then you pull to the right real hard to cinch it. But you want to get it to close so there's an even spacing as the shroud goes up and then there's no sagging or too much slack on the rat line When I say double granny knot, that's really pulling it through the open loop twice before you cinch it. Not just one granny knot on top of another one. That particular double granny knot you see here has a lot more gripping power and it won't come loose near as easy so I went through one time and then went through twice halfway up and I hope these few moments of video here are informative and helpful encouraging to those that have to go through this process now, I've seen some people just lay a rope up there and glue it that doesn't really look too original and there's all different ways to tie knots so it may be a better way for you to tie a different knot than the ones I've been tying I just found this is the easiest for me to give me the look I'm after. When I slightly snug that knot to the left, <coughs> oops. That controls the tension and the length of the rat line. But if I leave it at that spot, pulling to the left tight, then the head of the knot sticks straight out. And we want the knot head to lead toward the right. Because we're, you know, usually our next knot is on the right, so we gotta lead into it with the new tail and obviously that short tail at the first knot is too hard to grab with your fingers and really put some pressure on it so that's why I use the pliers to grab it. And 
it's a double granny knot it's a little harder to cinch up than the clove hitch so as we climb up the ladder here I watched um, Master and Commander on YouTube last night for those of you who haven't seen that movie I would suggest you watch it if you're interested in these kind of ships the you know, one thing I learned is how I'm gonna mass produce some hammocks for inside the ship because this is a, a cutaway view ship to the inside deck so I'm going to want to make 10 or 20 hammocks in there to simulate a place for the sailors to sleep at. I got all kind of stuff I got to put inside there yet. I'm trying to get this main standing rigging and the sail rigging done before we mess with all those details. I like to put some lighting in there too. So we're about to the point where we got to readjust our paper here. Yeah, it rained yesterday and now it's sprinkling again and raining today. At least it's cool outside. So let's see here. We're going to go up quite a ways, so. Grab that there. That tear that off a little bit so I can get in here with the clamp. And then put another clamp on this side too. Yeah, keep that where we want it. And we'll tie like three or four more here. One, two, three, at least three. No. We're going to tie one more. And then we're going to super glue those. And then we're going to run new shrouds up to these eyelets up here. And then we'll have three or four more steps. But it'll be on this set of shrouds instead of. Okay, so as you can see, faced up to that, and this little step out ladder here that goes to the front of the the side of the crow's nest so they can get up on the crow's nest and then we just finished the last of the rat lines on the mizzen mast so that's it for rat lines now we did uh, yesterday before I quit put these ropes through the holes that we drilled in these stanchion sticking out and got all three of those masts done with the simulated rope climber to get up to the 
finial up there on top in case they need to do some rigging. So I just drilled a hole in the mast and <clears throat> fed one line through and then drilled another hole up here. So it's one line that goes back and forth, back and forth, and then ties off down there in the back of the mast. So we did that on all three of the masts. Got that last detail in that was showing on the plans. So now that the rat lines are done, I think it's Thursday today. Man, almost took two weeks to do all the rat lines. Well, now that they're done, it's time to look over the prints real hard and make sure we got all the standing rigging done that we need. I think I noticed that there were some other lines that I needed to run. So I got to spend some time to make sure everything is good on all the standing rigging and then we'll start on the sails. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to approach that yet. I know we're going to try to pre-sew or pre-rig the sails that go here, which are, I guess, what you would call parallel with the mast line, and get those sails in the middle part first, and the ones up at the file first and then we'll do the ones that are perpendicular that go on the on all the yard arms so we got a couple booms to put back here for the mizzen mass parallel sail and then we got like one two or three you can see the sails on the San Juan there that are flat facing us are all the ones I'm talking about. We'll do those first. I think there's going to be little brass rings that we'll be installing on these standing rigging to um, lace it to the sail or you know lace the rings around this and then to the edge of the sail along with all the other ropes that are involved with each sail. So we'll approach that cautiously and see what happens. But that's a good sense of accomplishment for this week. Roger Ramjet Man says Congratulations for finishing the rat lines. He's trying to drill into the rudder. I told him not to mess with it, but he insists on helping. 